We began our coverage tonight with Carter Evans in Scottsdale, Arizona. I had one hell of a rumble. Muhammad Ali died as he lived, surrounded by people who loved him. But this time, it was only close friends and family. Today, Ali's daughter Hannah said in a statement, our hearts are literally hurting, but we are happy daddy is free now. Their dad would have been proud of them. Bob Gunnell is Ali's spokesman and close friend. He was in the hospital when the champ passed away. He says Ali's wife, Lonnie, first took him to a doctor this past Tuesday for a small cough. They went home with some medication. It, it didn't help, so they checked in the hospital. We assumed it would be a short hospital stay. Uh, like it has been Like before. it has been before. And within 24 hours, it became worse. And Lonnie called, and I could tell in her voice that there was an issue. Ali's family flew to Phoenix on Friday to be by his bedside. His close friend, John Ramsey, was also at the hospital. A lot of emotion last night. You know, the, these kids, um, like their father, very they're spiritual. Um, they had a lot of good stories. There were tears, there were hugs, there were laughs. It was good to see, you know, everybody in one room. At that point, Ali was on a ventilator, and his organs were shutting down. It took a bad turn. It, it hit him hard, and, um, you know, Muhammad's gotten off the mat a lot of times. He just couldn't do it this time. By Friday night, his family had to make a decision. Muhammad was meticulous in expressing how not only he wanted to live, but how he wanted to die. And they were united in their front that that's not how their father wanted to live his life. They knew what he wanted. They, oh, they, they've known how he wanted. So they made that decision yesterday to take him off life support. They did. It was hard. We all tried to stay strong and whispered in his ear, you can go now, we will be okay, his daughter Hannah said in a tweet. All of his organs failed, but his heart wouldn't stop beating for 30 minutes. It's so sudden, uh, and you think about all the things he would have liked to have done or, or said. Has that crossed your mind? Even though Muhammad didn't speak as eloquently and, and like he used to, and his speech was limited at times, his eyes and his motions spoke volumes. In his presence, his actions spoke volumes, and that's probably what I would have wanted to tell him is that he made me a better person. Tomorrow, family members will accompany Muhammad Ali's body to his hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. The memorial is set for Thursday. A public service is going to be on Friday. It will begin with a procession through town. Bill Clinton, Billy Crystal, and Brian Gumbel are expected to deliver eulogies, and thousands of people, Rena, are expected to attend from around the world. Thank you, Carter.